NBA Hall of Famer Dennis Rodman, known for many things, both on and off the court, and now a new documentary revealing his entire journey from the start. Who is the real Dennis Rodman? The force of nature that he was was undeniable. Rodman turned the NBA upside down on his head. You never think back and say to yourself, now Dennis Rodman, which one was he? He constantly battling his inner demons. Dennis Rodman did dirty work better than anybody in NBA history. Oh my God, here comes the legend of Dennis Rodman. Wow, uh, joining us right now, uh, Rodman, for better or worse, NBA Hall of Famer himself, Dennis Rodman, and his agent, Darren Prince. Welcome, guys. How you guys doing? You, good, good. We, you sat down to the 30 for 30, and yeah. as usual, you were very introspective. Mm -hmm. how, how hard was it for you to open up about things that are so personal? Not too difficult, because that's my whole life. It's back to the fact that I like to share, share my, my experience to the youth of America, you know, the G generation, and... Uh, I just looked at it as far as I let people see that, hey, I'm human too. As, as a sports figure, as a human being, and I want people to understand that uh, it's not all glitz and glamour in the, in the sports world. Yeah, no kidding. It, 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 you had a tough childhood. I mean, you grew up oh, yeah. in Dallas. Oh, yeah. uh, you, were, you were homeless at times. Uh, you couldn't figure out. You were introverted. Where does this come from that? You mean this wedding dress? <laughs> <laughs> she said it was Serena, right? It's like Serena. I said, wow, Serena. You wore Serena. this to a book signing? Yeah, uh, 1997. Okay. Yeah, it's, you know, people don't understand is that uh, I'm actually changing the world. In what know? way? In what way? Just like Donald Trump said, you know, let's make America great. And Dennis Rodman's trying to change the world and all the things I'm doing. And guess what? I'm trying to get my life better and I'm trying to get perspective on my life as far as my family, my kids, my mother, stuff like that. And I think today, as far as sports figures and youth of America, I think we kind of lost that, and I think I'm kind of a, uh, a voice for that today. That's great, Dennis. Okay, so Darren, how did you come into the picture? You're his agent. When did <laughs> seen, this happen? the highs and the lows. Well, we met in 96 after the NBA Finals, the game he made two free throws against Seattle. And uh, we met on the court, and we broke bread at a strip club that night. This is fun, right? <laughs> this is, uh, this is what it is. Who paid the cover? <laughs> he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. And it's been a, it's been an amazing journey. A lot of ups and downs, um, but he's a rebound king in life. He really is. He's doing better than ever. He helped me on my personal journey about 11 and a half years ago to get mm -hmm. sober. From a, an opiate addiction, yeah, and yeah. Uh, now I'm there for him. He's wow. doing, you know, amazing with uh, not drinking and taking care of himself. Few people know uh, Dennis better than you. Also, one teammate feels though he really respects Dennis and wanted to speak about it. Here is uh, John Sally. Imagine Dennis Rodman in a nightclub ordering milk. That's the kind of guy he was. The players around him, they, they sensed that he was different. I sensed uh, a lot of fear. But I just thought he was sweet and, and, and innocent. Just a really just tender, gentle soul. I, I just want to do it so badly, and, uh, and here I am, and I'm, I'm still here, and I'm hopefully be here for a long time. He was not ready. I'm going to be honest, he was not ready for this really cruel world. You agree with that? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's very shocking, the fact that I'm still here. You know. And now you're famous for, in addition to this uh, 30 on 30 documentary that people should watch on ESPN to get your whole story, you're in the news a lot. Whenever we talk about North Korea, it's like, you know, you regard Kim Jong-un as one of your best friends. Well, um, I say that, but I don't want the people around the world to think that uh, we're like, I'm going to you know, go to dinner with him every night and stuff like that. I just think the fact that I did have an impact on some of the things that's happened sure. in North Korea. And uh, I think that the fact that Donald Trump is doing a great job is trying can to connect he, us. Can the president make a deal with him? I think he can. And I think the fact that people better watch out for this. Kim Jong-un will be in America in 18 to 24 months, I guarantee you. Really? I you guarantee mean, you. As head of state or is he going to defect? No, he's coming to do one thing, to visit America. All right. Well, if you want to watch the 30 for 30, 30 on ESPN, it was go. on Tuesday night. It's continuing to run on ESPN. Right. You have a fascinating story. And Thank you. And lucky to have a great friend like Darren, right? Yeah. Right. We got it. Cool. Congratulations <laughs> on your sobriety, both right. of you. All right. Cool. God bless you. Thanks, guys.